Hello, I want to talk about some words of caution, <laughs> the warnings that come with meditation because meditation is great and I, I'm a proponent of it and I do it all the time and I encourage everybody really to do it. But I want you to know what sometimes when we start a meditation practice, you know, it can be a little bit bumpy um, in the beginning and I want you to be able to override those things but by talking about it up front. So when it, when it, when it happens, when and if that does happen to you, you know that this is pretty normal and you keep going anyway. You know, one of the biggest things that happens is resistance. <laughs> Our own resistance to meditating, you know, because when we start to meditate, something within us changes. It does. Um, the, and the things that change are usually the things that we want to have changed. That's why we're meditating. We don't want to be angry. We don't want to be upset. We don't want to be in our minds all the time. We want to be in our bodies. We want to be present with our loved ones. You know, those are the reasons why we meditate. We want to feel better. That's the whole goal. And so when we begin to meditate to for the pro, for the intent to, you know, just feel better, to be present, to be more in life, um, there, there are resistances that can and do come up for people. You know, if we've been existing one way for years, you know, and now we're saying we really don't want to exist this way anymore. We want to exist the other way that, you know, that has momentum, that personality, that part of personality has momentum, those habits have momentum. And so when you want to stop and change momentums, habits, you know, there's a part of you that's going to resist it because it's going to want to keep going with the momentum. Um, so when you feel the resistance to actually meditating, because it comes, override it and meditate anyway. <laughs> just do it anyway. Get whatever it is. Just get up the five minutes earlier, the 10 minutes earlier, the 20 minutes earlier. You know, take that two minutes before you click on the TV just to meditate and it will start to change. But resistance comes and it can be very strong and it can give you a whole list of reasons why you can't meditate. You don't have time. It's a waste of time. You know, who does this crap anyway? <laughs> Whatever it is, just do it anyway and, and ride it out because over time, you know, you will be able to cultivate those kinds of uh, emotional states that you're wanting and the the states of being that you're wanting, whether that's peace or comfort or ease in the body, whether that's more loving, more attentive, more present, whatever it is, you know, a little bit happier, a little bit more joyful, a little bit more connected, whatever it is for you that you're doing this for, you know, it will manifest, but it, it can be uncomfortable at times. And I just want you to be able to ride through that. And when you do meditations, especially ones with me, you know, this is a grazed based meditation. That's the power of it. My intention always is to have grace to come around you to help support you in whatever meditation you're doing. So when you're doing a meditation and you have grace around you and you have the intent to release something and something actually releases and you can feel a release happening, like something came out of your body and you're feeling better and you're like, wait, what, what was that? What just happened? You know, you let go, something let go. Well, you know, what was that? What just came out of me? Those are the kind of things people want to, it's like, who cares? It's gone. You know, it might've been a stress pattern. It might've been an emotional pattern. You know, it, it, it might've been an idea you had about yourself. There's all these things um, that, you know, we are like multifaceted beings. We're, we're not two dimensional. There's a lot to us. And so, and there's a lot to us that we don't always understand. But we don't have to fully understand everything to really reap in the benefits. When we are in a grace-based space and we have positive intentions for ourselves, whatever those are, to heal, to grow, to transform, um, to let go of something, to to cultivate something new, you know, you're going. Lots of people are going to feel shifts happening because, you know, if you've been angry, angry has a feeling, it has a vibration, it has a, a density to it, and when you let go of these things and those those densities and those heaviness is releasing so you feel lighter and better. You know, don't worry about what you're letting go of. Just let it go. It's like taking out the trash. Don't look at the trash. Take out the trash. You cannot let go of your own radiant being. You can't let go of what's true or real. That's true and real. Those are your essences. Those don't go. What, what goes is personalities, identities, patterns, energies, um, whatever things from whatever they're not they're not 
authentic. So if something can be gone, if something leaves, it's not you that leaves, it's something else. And just be okay when you feel shifts happening in the body because shifts can and do happen because the intention behind my work is to help you get you from where it is to where you want to go. And sometimes where, where it is needs to go for you to get where you want to go. And um, so when you feel these shifts that happen in your body while you meditate, be okay that you're feeling them. And if something comes up while you're meditating, just know that you are greater and bigger and stronger than whatever it is that you are dealing with. Whatever you've been through, whatever you're experiencing, either on a mental emotional pattern, on a psychic level, on an energy level, on a physical level, as you're experiencing these things through the meditation because you're breathing and you're putting your attention on your body and into the body and as you put your attention into these things you know things that have been stored in the body are going to come out and you need to be okay that you know that stress that's been lodged in your chest for for months now and when you breathe and put attention on your chest that thing comes that stress comes out and it has a feeling to it it has an energy it has it's almost sometimes it feels palpable like you can feel the stress that's leaving or feeling the patterns that leaving. Be okay that you're experiencing that because it's leaving and that's the intentions. It's to set yourself free to be whoever it is that you're choosing to be in this moment and who you're choosing to be in the future. You know, so that's, so when you are in the process of meditating and you are feeling things, Breathe, you know that you are greater than whatever it is that you're feeling, thinking, remembering, any of that. And just keep going and just keep breathing and keep letting it go. Because you are the vibrant, radiant being. You're bigger than anything. You're bigger than your patterns. You're bigger than your identities. You're bigger than your, your experiences. We don't have to bend to the will of whatever it is that we're releasing. We're releasing it. <laughs> we don't. We don't need to be its host anymore. We don't need to host stress. We get to fill that space with radiance, um, if that's what you choose. Whatever it is that you're choosing to fill it with, peace, joy, comfort, ease, space, you know. Um, so, so when you start and as you go, just keep going. Um, and be okay when you are experiencing things that are a little bit uncomfortable when you meditate. Just keep meditating and keep letting go. And as you come across things and you need a little bit more support, you know, reach out in whatever direction you feel like you need that support from, whether that's a, a licensed therapist or a medical doctor or, you know, a, a chiropractor or a coach, anything reach out into the direction that feels right for you for what it is that you're going through um and just keep giving yourself permission you know regardless of how you feel like right now in this moment you have <clears throat> the ability to make those kinds of changes that you're wanting to make um and through meditation meditation is a wonderful opening to that and that's really what meditation is it's an opening uh, and an opportunity and a tool really for us to access these higher states of being that we want to access and bring them in and live from those states of peace and joy and health and vitality and love and compassion because those just feel better you know those are higher vibrations and they feel better and they don't drain us and they, they don't diminish us and they don't dull us and and so as we as we cultivate those have patterns that's really what I like to help you do is to cultivate those higher states of being. We drop other states of being, resentment, unforgiveness, you know, anger, that, you know, desperation, distrust, all that stuff really starts to come off. And as it comes off and as we drop these pieces, you know, um, sometimes we feel it go and it can be uncomfortable. It feels like something's being pulled away. And really that's just an old, those are just ideas and energies and chords and frequencies and patterns and, you know, whatever else, you know, depending on your frame of how you see the world will depend on what you think it is that you're, you know, separating out from. But just keep going and give yourself 
the joy of being you in your body, in the states of being that you want to be in. And that's the gift of my work. Um, so yes, so as you go into it, just know that you're not gonna, and some people, you know, I'm not limiting you. If you can sit down in the first meditation and go into the meditation and come out enlightened and stay enlightened, then I am so excited for you. Um, really, that would be, that would have been awesome. <laughs> but I've been meditating for 20 years and it's been a progress and I've been growing and changing and, and I like who I am now and I like who I'm becoming and I'm still growing. You know, there's still bits and pieces that are keep shifting and changing and releasing. I, I listen to my own meditations and, you know, things happen. I let go of stuff. You know, I'm doing my own chakra meditations and I can feel my chakra opening and I can feel things leave and I can feel things happening within my own body. So I know that there's power in it. I just know that, you know, as these, as, you know, as I'm improving and feeling better, you know, sometimes I have to kind of go through things that are a little bit uncomfortable as, as I'm letting them go. You know, if, if, if you've ever been in any kind of therapy, you know, or met somebody in therapy, you know, they go in one way and, and it's great, you know, six months, a year later, you know, cause you work through stuff, but it can get really messy in between. So <clears throat> if it feels like it gets a little bit hard, you know, do it anyway. You know, it's, it's your life, you one life. You got to do it your way. You have to feel your way. And don't let resistance and don't let habits and don't let ideas and don't let, you know, psychic patterns block you from living the life that you wanted to live. So, yes, so that's, that's the caution and the words of my words of wisdom. You know, you're going to feel resistance and override it anyway. And know that you're bigger and stronger and greater than anything that you might be experiencing, remembering or feeling. You are the radiant being. Set yourself free. Much warmth and much love. Enjoy the program.